This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Previously on Nutty Stream. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> you guys like cool? Okay, this is not very sexy. <laughs> oh, speaking of Joe Biden. <laughs> This isn't the president. Joe Biden isn't a Twitch streamer, as far as I know. What you're looking at right now are the kind of monstrosities that I create for my stream. I've been playing around with face tracking lately, so I wanted to share with you guys how I can get these types of filters and add them to your stream. You'll be able to trigger these effects not only through your stream deck, but your viewers will also be able to activate them through things like channel points, bits, subs, all the things that I know you guys love. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Look, I know you guys know what a VPN is. You're not stupid. If you guys are streamers, which I know most of you are, you should really consider getting one. And with Surfshark, you can make it look like you're browsing the web from a completely different country. You can unlock shows on Netflix that you wouldn't normally be able to watch in your country. I live in Australia. That's not a meme. I actually live there or here. And I don't have access to shows like The Walking Dead. I kind of stopped watching after they spent like a year in the farm, but... You know, the option would be nice. Oh no. Surfshark has a strictly no logs policy so they don't keep any of your data. Plus they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't end up liking it, you can always get your money back. And by the way, you can use Surfshark on as many devices as you want, even on a single subscription. So if you got a tablet, you got a phone, you got a laptop, you can use it across all of them. Sign up to Surfshark using the link down below and use code NuttyVPN to get 83% off Plus, you'll even get three months completely free. So today we're gonna to be looking at a program called Snap Camera. And if you didn't guess that, come on, man. It's literally in the title. Keep up, Nathaniel. Is your name Nathan or Daniel? Pick one, save some names with the rest of us. Snap Cam is a program that allows you to use any Snapchat lens for your PC. And it's actually made by Snapchat. So it's their official program. Any of the lenses that you use to mess around with your friends, like this one, which turns me into an ABG, you can now bring it to your desktop. Here's how it works. Instead of feeding your camera directly into OBS, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna feed our camera into Snapcam and then feed that into OBS. So essentially, Snapcam is acting like a middle layer between OBS and your webcam. This will make more sense when you actually install the program. So head on the link down below, download Snapcam, install it, it's pretty straightforward. But once you have it installed, you're gonna go into OBS, go to the video capture device, which is your webcam, go to the properties, and instead of using your webcam here, you're gonna see an option that says Snap Camera. This is just a virtual device that Snap Cam installed, and this is gonna be your camera now. You should see the Snap Cam logo in place of your camera, and that's because we actually have to set up our camera inside of Snap Camera. So now open up Snap Camera, go into the settings, and from the dropdown box, select what camera you wanna use for Snap Cam. Now you just have to search for your favorite Snapchat lens, click on it, and it should immediately show up in OBS. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, I could just end the video right here. Like honestly, I could. It wasn't that hard. You just download a program, install it. I don't even know why I make these videos sometimes. It wasn't that hard. But we got more to talk about. So let's talk about how to actually find lenses because it may not be as straightforward as you think it is. Of course, you could just use a search field and there are literally thousands of different lenses to choose from, but you'll notice that sometimes when you search for a particular lens, it actually doesn't appear in the search results. For example, here's one that's called My Twin. This is the one that turns me into an ABG and this is an official Snapchat lens. If I just type my twin into the search results, it's just not there. Well, it turns out if you can find the direct URL to the Snapchat lens that you want, then all you need to do is to paste that URL into the search bar and it'll pick it up. But how do you actually get the URL to begin with? So if you install Snapchat onto your phone, you can actually search for all of the lenses there, even the ones that don't appear in Snapcam. So you just find the lens that you want, you tap on the screen, tap on the eye, go into export lens, and then select copy link. Then just paste that URL somewhere that you can transfer to your PC. So use a notes app, email it to yourself, uh, use a smoke signal, do what you gotta do. Now you can paste it into the search field and it should show up. So let's just say you find a lens that you really, really like. Well, you can click on the star to save it to your favorites 
and you're actually gonna need to do this if you wanna tie these Snapchat lenses into like your channel points or your sub alerts. While we're on the subject, let's talk about channel points. So now you're at a point where you have a list of all your favorite lenses now you want your viewers to be able to activate these lenses using channel points, subs, bits, all the different Twitch stuff. The first thing you ought to do is assign a hotkey to all of your lenses. So go to your favorites and click in the weird looking keyword thing. This is where you set up all your different hotkeys. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Every single one of your lenses needs to have a different hotkey assigned to it. And on top of that, every hotkey has to have a modifier. So you need to include at least control, shift, or alt. You can't just assign it to like F12 or something. This is kind of annoying because a lot of games use those keys for like sprinting and crouching. So you're just gonna have to deal with randomly crouching in the middle of your game sometime. I'd love if you could just assign each lens to like an F13 or F24 key, but doesn't seem to be possible. Anyway, the point is figure out a hotkey that you wanna use. And then now we're gonna have to use a program to virtually press those keys every time someone spends their channel points or does whatever on Twitch. The two that I personally like to use are Leroy Ward and Touch Portal. Both are gonna work here. And, and, and by the way, if none of that meant anything to you, Leroy Ward and Touch Portal are just two different programs that can detect whenever someone spends channel points and then trigger a certain event, such as pressing a hotkey. I've made videos on both of those. I'll leave them linked up here. I highly recommend that you watch those videos because nothing I'm gonna say is gonna make any sense if you don't. Plus I want your ad revenue. So we'll start with doing it in Leoran board. So create a new button, right click on it, and then go into keyboard macros. This might seem a little bit unintuitive at first, but you basically just enter in each key for your hotkey. So if your hotkey is like control shift F12, then you just put in control shift and F12. Also, it's probably a good idea to turn off the lens after a while, otherwise it's just gonna be on like forever. So add in the hotkey again, and then this time add in a delay for however long you want the filter to be enabled. Then just go ahead and add all your triggers just like you would for any other button in Leoran board. Test it out and it should work just fine. And if not, oops. One thing to note, if you're gonna have multiple channel point redemptions for different Snapchat lenses, you probably don't want them to overlap on top of each other. So one great thing that they added to the last release of Leoran board is group IDs. So you can actually assign a group ID to all your channel point redemptions and in Leoran board, every single button that has the same group ID will be queued up in the same queue so that they never play at the same time. I highly recommend that you use group IDs, otherwise you're gonna run into a situation where like two different people activate Snapchat lenses at the same time, and then one's gonna cancel out the other, and then they're gonna start fighting in chat, and then you're gonna be like, guys, stop fighting, this is really awkward, please stop fighting, I don't know what to do. Now, if you're using Touch Portal, it's a little bit more straightforward, you just add a new event, and then you add a virtual key press, and press your hotkey, then you add a wait timer for however long that you want, and then you add another virtual key press to turn off the lens. Oh, and similar to Leoran Ward, make sure that all your Snapchat lens redemptions are on the same queue lane. Queue lanes are basically the same thing as group IDs in Leoran Ward. That's about it. Now, once you get the hang of it, you can start combining these Snapchat lenses with all the other different effects that you've learned. Hopefully for me, and not someone else's YouTube channel. <laughs> Traitor. You know what they call you? Trader Joe's. But you can just get like really, really creative with this. Like here's one that I call the Merka effect. And for this one, we don't just activate the Joe Biden filter, but what we do is we change the lights behind me to red and blue. And then we also pull up the American flag on the monitor behind me while also playing the president music in the background. I don't even know what it's called, but the pre you know the presidential music? We play that in the background. But you can see that we're tying together all these different ideas and all these different elements into this single effect that's really funny. Well, at least I hope it's funny. And just creating something that just has a theme rather than just, ooh, I just activated a Snapchat lens. How boring. So a couple things I want to mention before we wrap up the video because Snapcam does have its quirks. The first one, and it's actually kind of a big one, is Snapcam only works in 30 FPS, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but when you're using Snapcam, you lose access to your webcams 
high quality 60 FPS frame rate. That means you're going to have to choose whether or not you want your high quality camera or the fun effects of Snapcam. Not Snapcam's fault, this is just a limitation of basically every single USB webcam. They can only be used in one program at a time. Now there are some exceptions to that. I talk more about it in my Camlink Pro video. TLDR, I don't have that issue personally because the Camlink Pro can be used in multiple programs at the same time. It's not the only capture card that can do that, it's just one example. Now there are ways around that on a normal webcam. For example, you can use a program called ManyCam. I'm not even gonna bother showing you how to do that because that's going to lead on to the next point and that is that Snapcam can be pretty heavy on your system resources. Some filters like the ABG filter I was using earlier can use like 15 to 20 percent of my GPU and I'm using a 1080 Ti so if you're trying to game at high frame rates while also using Snapchat filters you may have a little bit of trouble. This is one of the few situations where I would say that yeah a two PC setup might be pretty useful here but that's a topic for another video. But anyway Go, go away and go install Snapcam, find some really cool lenses, and if you find anything really cool, leave it in the comments down below so everybody can find them. Links to the Discord in the description if you guys need any help with anything to do with streaming. Also, I stream three nights a week, so come by. We're probably going to do some crazy Snapchat stuff this week, so see you guys there. I'll see you guys next week.